Hello. I've been to 96 countries, or 130, or somewhere between the two. It depends on what you call a country, and what you describe as having been there. Let me explain. Hi, I'm Matt. Over the last 25 years, I've travelled a lot. I've lived in five countries on four continents. I've flown over 1.3 million miles. I've visited over 100 countries, every American state, but I'm nowhere near done. So hit subscribe to see where I go next and perhaps get some inspiration for your next trip. There's a number of great videos on YouTube that talk about this and I'm not going to attempt to recreate those. But where all of them start is with the United Nations, which has 195 members, of which I've been to 96. Annoyingly close to 100, which I think will be one of my first goals when this lockdown business is over. That count of 195 includes 193 full members, plus the Vatican City and Palestine. 137 UN members recognise Palestine at time of recording, but it retains observer status because there are a couple of UN members that are quite important that are blocking its full membership. This channel isn't going to be about politics. Politics is important because it impacts on visas, passport stamps and where you can and can't go and where you should and shouldn't go. But I'm going to try and avoid giving opinions on these things as we go through. I'll probably stay away from religion too. That list of 195 countries has a few omissions. First of which is Taiwan, which looks like a country from most directions. 15 UN members recognise Taiwan as an independent country, but one, China, doesn't. And as a result, those 15 who do have no diplomatic relationship themselves with China. Also on the probably a country list is Kosovo, which 100 members of the United Nations recognise at the moment. There are others such as Northern Cyprus, Western Sahara, Abkhazia and a few others which look like countries but aren't members of the UN. So the answer is more than the 195 we started off with, but we're only really scratching the surface. Take one, the United Kingdom, one in the UN count, but is it actually four, considering England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland as separate countries? Right, let's start from another direction and consider the Travellers Century Club. This was founded in 1954 as, in their words, a non-profit social organisation designed for people who travel extensively. Because humans work in multiples of 10, 100 was set up as the qualification threshold. But that's quite a lot. I've been to 96 United Nations members, so if their list was the same, I still wouldn't qualify for membership of the TCC. So the club took a slightly more creative approach to defining the list of countries and came up with a total of, drum roll, 329. I'll put a link to the club in the description below, but you can join by self-certifying that you have been to 100 countries. Additional membership tiers exist for those that have been to 150, 200, 250 and 300 countries. The club says that about 20 members have been to all countries in the world, which really is quite an achievement. But if you look at it closely, to qualify for that tier, you need to have been to all countries existing at the time. Now, as they're being added constantly, and as it now includes seven of the Antarctic territories, which are really, really difficult to get to, I'm not sure there's anyone who's actually been to all of the 329 territories as currently defined. So using their definition, my count is 129. I did celebrate a little bit when I reached 100, and I was planning to join the club, but then I decided I'd rather spend the money on actually having another trip rather than on paying it to the TCC. Maybe I'll join it if this video gets enough likes, which reminds me, please hit the like button down below and also the subscribe button so you'll be alerted when there are new videos from me. So the Traveller Century Club has 134 more places on its list than the United Nations, and they describe those places as territories rather than countries. It's a commercial organisation and they want members, so they elected very early on to make the list as long as possible by using a rather creative definition of what constitutes a territory to lengthen the list and encourage membership. This definition 
Sounds reasonable, but it does throw out a few territories slash countries which are a bit silly. A territory is defined by them as being a place removed from parent countries geographically, politically, or for other reasons. I could make an entire video about some of the consequences of this definition, and I probably will. But for now, let me just give you a few examples of how this throws out some unexpected results. The USA is one country. That's fairly uncontroversial, but under the TCC's definitions, it's three, as Hawaii and Alaska are geographically removed, so are counted separately. Canada is one country, right? Again, uncontroversial, you'd think. But in the TCC, it's two. The separate territory isn't, as you might think, Newfoundland, or some of the Northern Islands that are remote, but no, it's Prince Edward Island, which is actually joined to the rest of Canada by a bridge. Not sure I can really explain that one. The United Kingdom counts as one in the United Nations, but it must be four in the TCC. Well, no, it's actually seven. The four we've discussed, plus the Isle of Man, Guernsey, and Jersey. We've talked about countries, but let's talk for a moment about the been to, and what does been to actually mean? The TCC defines it as, even the shortest visit would suffice, even if only a port of call or a plane fuel stop, provided that you disembark from your aircraft, ship, or vehicle, and set foot in the territory. This definition, again, is quite broad, as the TCC wants members. They want to make it as easy as possible for people to get their count up. Some of my friends have an even more stringent definition for been to, and they would need to have eaten or slept in a place for it to count. As an example, I took a train from Zurich to Innsbruck years ago, which went through Liechtenstein. It went through Liechtenstein quite slowly, and I was able to take a number of photographs out of the window and see pretty much all of Vaduz that there is to see. But I didn't set foot in it, I didn't eat there, I didn't sleep there, and so do I count it. I do. The friend I was travelling with that day doesn't. The only TCC club that is questionable for me in this regard, which might allow me to hit 130, is Pakistan. I was on a Thai Airways flight from Oman to Thailand that stopped briefly in Karachi. I was on the ground for about an hour. I wasn't allowed to leave the aeroplane, but I can't count it because I didn't set foot in the territory. So the 329 territories in the world, as per the TCC, is probably not the right answer anyway. Of the 129 I've been to, I reckon 16 are very, very dubious and can't really count them, which brings me down to 113 countries. That is still 17 more than the United Nations. And that 17 includes Gibraltar, Puerto Rico, Hong Kong, the Cook Islands, Aruba, St. Martin, all of which felt like pretty proper countries when I was in them. So let's think a little more about Gibraltar. It is a British overseas territory, so it is constitutionally part of the United Kingdom, but it has its own parliament, it has its own laws, it has its own currency. And since 2013, it's had its own football team. Maybe football is a way of unlocking this. FIFA is the governing body for world football, and that is made up of six federations, which contain 223 members, including Gibraltar, including Taiwan, which competes as Chinese Taipei, and Kosovo, the two most country-looking non-countries, according to the United Nations. So is 223 the number? Almost. There are six members of the United Nations which aren't in the list of 223 Federation members. These are the Marshall Islands, Micronesia, Nauru, Palau, Monaco, and perhaps least surprisingly, Vatican City, with a population of about 800, most of whom are not exactly sprightly. It's perhaps not surprising that Vatican City isn't a footballing titan. So that's 229. Are we done? Well, almost. We're back to the problem we got stuck with when we were thinking about the United Nations. The two most country-looking non-countries, according to the United Nations, are in this list, Palestine and Kosovo. But the next handful aren't. 
So I spent some time on Wikipedia to make a list of countries that are recognised by other countries but which aren't members of the United Nations or indeed don't have football federations. These are... Time to butcher some country names. The Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic is recognised by at least 40 UN members and perhaps as many as 80. This is historically known as Western Sahara. Abkhazia is recognised by six UN members and South Ossetia is recognised by five. Both territories declared independence from Georgia in the 90s. Northern Cyprus is recognised by only one UN member, Turkey. There are then two countries which have been recognised by one or more of those countries that we just mentioned. Artsakh, which is better known as Nagorno-Karabakh, is formerly part of Azerbaijan, and the pre dystrinovian Moldovian Republic, otherwise known as Transnistria, which was part of Moldova. Finally, Somaliland is generally seen to be part of Somalia, but has many of the institutions of an independent country and has some legal claims to independence dating back to the 60s. Nobody actually recognises it as an independent country, but I've included it because it probably is as close to being one as anyone else that we might consider. So that's 236, of which I've been to 113. There is a fairly long list of increasingly bonkers claimants to being independent countries, but I'll save that and perhaps do another video on those another day. Let me know in the comments if you'd like more of this sort of stuff. I'll put this list on my website. I'll put the link in the description below. Take a look and let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with anything I've included. And also line yourself up against this list and let me know how many countries you've been to. And if anyone is still watching, thanks for doing so. Like this video so it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and leave a comment and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks and I'll see you all next time.